It's been about a year since I've done a greenhouse review and as you can see, uh, greenhouse isn't standing. Uh, this little one is junk. It's completely died at this point. You can see, it's, uh, it's toast. We had some pretty strong winds yesterday come through um, 38 miles an hour and uh, blew, blew the skin off, uh, but didn't actually damage anything. So this one, this one I've been playing with, working with, and uh, let's do a little bit of a, an analysis of what happened. So you see the skins here on the ground, bits and pieces of it have held up, but I don't think the skin is damaged. It's just uh, snuck down around and underneath the straps I've had to hold it down, but the the straps have, have let go. Um, the chickens, I think, have been picking at the balls, the little zip tie balls, and uh, knocking them loose. I've been picking them up, and you can see I've got them hanging here as, as I've been finding them, hanging them up. And uh, I think enough of them have been let go that uh, it was able to basically slide up and around. Um, I had this cord set into stakes in the ground to kind of hold it down. And I think I nicked one over here with the side um, last fall, cleaning up some of the, the tall stuff. And I think I cut a cord and that's allowed it to release. Um, we can see that a lot of the synthetic, hey guy, hey, hey, no, 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 be gone with you, be gone with you. Um, got my back turned to the big rooster and he decided he was, uh, going to try to play big chicken on me. Um, anyway, the, uh. Uh, the synthetic that I strung up here has, uh, has gotten wet and has died. Um, sorry, not the synthetic, the natural cord. The synthetic still seems to be pretty good. So I think that's going to work. Um, what I've started doing is I've actually switched to... Uh, pull this out. It sounds like I walk over this. Switch to wire. Um, for this one, when I'm doing this one. So that way, when I... Uh, put the, the cover on the uh, it won't sag into these pockets uh, so you can see I've got a door frame here um, what I'll actually probably end up doing is I'm going to move this door frame onto that greenhouse because I want this one up sooner um, I think what really happened is zippers have basically died and so this got left open and so the wind could go in and it bellowed out and uh blew away so uh, I'm actually gonna put it together backwards so the zipper door let's see if we get the zippers to work I'm gonna put those on that side I'm gonna put this door on this greenhouse and then I'm actually gonna cut the greenhouse plastic what I have for a door is just a simple set of hinges right um, nice and simple, but what I have here is I've got another set of hinges so I can actually open this one up and then pull this one through so I can get bigger stuff through and then uh, that's set up for a chicken door. But with the braised bed, I don't need to get the wide through, so I'm going to move this door to that greenhouse frame and uh, call it good. So it came apart, but I don't think it's uh, significantly damaged. It's just an uh, inconvenience with uh, 38 mile an hour gusts and uh, time to uh, do a little bit of cleanup and uh, fix some of the some of the uh, string and whatnot that I've I've been neglecting um, all winter. Well, basically, it's been a year since I've done anything to it. So, 
but it, the frame's still good and solid. So I think we're good. Awful lot of hassle for a cut rope. Put the uh, thing back together and uh, it's working. So you can see the, the ropes are holding it down. I don't have enough uh, stakes with rebar. You can see the rebar here. Um, just one foot hooks. Don't have enough, didn't have enough, so uh, I'm missing one. And you can see how she bellows. But that was all it took, is uh, a broken, uh, a broken uh, uh, rope, and then uh, the chickens had basically plucked all the, the ties on the inside out, because they're little white balls, and they like those white balls. And uh, it was done. So here's the new front. I was gonna do the zipper on the far side, but these zippers are shot. They they don't zip anymore. So now, now it's like this. I have a, a door I can open. And if I want to get bigger things out, I can open it up even wider. And then we have the spot for the chickies to go in and out. And I think they'll like it. Put that back down. And put this one back down. We'll close the door. That should be nice and warm for them. I'd borrowed the door from here. So now to make the new door. Uh, it's actually probably gonna be a double door so I could put mesh and then a window or have a separate window frame or something, I don't know. It's gotta be else I could, gotta be else I could breathe um, or something, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But that's the uh, fixed greenhouse. Didn't really break any, took a little bit of damage in some of the corners. So a bit of duct tape and whatnot will fix that. Here's another worse of the damage. So basically where these had it were, it uh it wrecked those, fought those loose. So got a couple a couple spots where all those were. And uh yeah. See where the chickens like jumping through and they've uh scratch the fabric up or the greenhouse material up there. What do you think? What do you think there, chicken?